Well, Treat, uh, we've got a woman joining us who originates from our area, at least for a portion of her life, and she is now competing on TLC in their next great baker competition. Her name is Pamela Ahn. Welcome to LHV. Good seeing you. Thank you. Good to see you, Pat. Uh, before we get into what's going on with uh, the competition, um, your family, uh, you're immigrants from, from Asia, correct? Yes. And you came to Lynchburg. We did. We did. Uh, we came from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Originally, I came here when I was 11. Uh, that was back in 1992 and we joined here in Lynchburg because my uncle, uh, my grandmother and some of our family were already here. Mm -hmm. You might know uh, China Royal. Oh that? yeah, absolutely. That's a family owned restaurant. Oh wonderful, so. yeah. Good food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sushi's <laughs> awesome, yeah. Thank Over you. there all the time. Um, so you, uh, you went to elementary, middle and high school here, then you went to Virginia Tech. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I went to Forest Elementary and then Jefferson Forest High School and then uh, in 1999, graduated and went off to Virginia Tech for Hokies. Then you are a, um, TLC's colors are almost close to the Hokie Burgundy. Uh, you are a an electronic, an electrical engineer, right? I am an electrical engineer by trade, yes. And you're a baker by, almost kind of by trade. Uh, by night You're kind of getting paid yes. for it now, aren't you? <laughs> uh, so let's talk about this competition, the next great baker. What is the competition? What are you supposed to do? Well, uh, it's 10 contestants. We get the chance to illustrate our talent, our creativity. Uh, it highlights people from almost wa all walks of life, and we get a chance to work with Buddy Velastro mm -hmm. of TLC Cake Boss, who's a big Italian family, um, and we really just get to showcase our talents, mm -hmm. and we have a chance of winning fifty thousand dollars. We have uh, some clips here from uh, from the production, and now this production it's going on now. It continues. On, let's see, I think we're here. We are the first of January. You're around week three or four, somewhere in there. How many total weeks is the competition? It's an eight episode series. Is it okay? Awesome. Mm -hmm. And what night is well, when's this airing? Monday nights at nine, uh, eight central yeah. on TLC. Oh, they taught you to say that, didn't they? They <laughs> did. <laughs> um, let's talk about this cake that you have over here. This is not one from the competition, but it is a cake that you've done together to demonstrate your skills. Tell me about this beautiful cake. I know it has a lot of uh, symbolism in it. Thank you so much. Uh, well, uh, this is a cake to celebrate Chinese or Lunar New Year, mm -hmm. and that usually falls sometime in February or late January. This year, I think it's February 4th, mm -hmm. uh, and I just wanted to illustrate some of the traditions. Uh, the red and the gold is very exemplary what you see in Chinese New Year celebration. Uh, the calligraphy of the words actually says Happy New Year in Chinese. And the dragon, of course, is a huge uh, symbol. Yeah. Now, I know with the competition, we can't talk about a lot of what's going on, but are you getting this, uh, are you going to be getting this uh, uh, elaborate in this competition? Are you going to be going this direction? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think you'll see this and more. I mean, yeah. we work in teams, and, uh, we, you know, it's, uh, the, the series really is about teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, so when you see you put talent to people together with different yeah. strengths and weaknesses, um, you're able to produce something even more elaborate. I want, to think, I want to take a minute and talk a little bit about something that's important to me, a uh, father with, uh, with two daughters. I had a chance not too long ago to speak with an actress who is also a mathematician. Oh, wow. You are on TLC. <laughs> you are a baker. You are also an electrical engineer. You can combine both sides of the brain going on here for uh, and have two wonderful aspects of your life, can't you? It, it is a good training to kind of utilize both sides. Mm -hmm. And I, I really do want to encourage uh, the younger kids and the younger adults growing up that you know, you can pursue uh, things that are, you know, more so a career path, a driven path mm -hmm. um, in the world, and also have uh, a hobby on the side that you may be very passionate about and explore things that um, I think society is moving more towards encouraging the creative arts. Um, but yes, I think it, it, it's nice to be able to have both experiences. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for me, coming into a new country and 
and kind of finding our way. I, I'm definitely glad I, I was able to get my engineering degree and training, yeah. but also being able to kind of um, feel my own hobby on the side yeah. and where it's taken me is it's such a blessing and it's definitely unexpected. And I hope that you know others will be inspired to do the same. You know, for the young women in the audience, because I'm, I'm really big into encouraging women, uh, our girls, to explore mm -hmm. the math, the science, the engineering, oh, yes. and the like. Uh, what would your your thoughts be to them? Uh, I really do uh, want to push uh, for that because I think for us as a society, the more you embrace diversity in any workforce, mm -hmm. uh, you the society benefits. You know, we, we get a more well-rounded uh, atmosphere. People, everybody brings something new to the table. Mm -hmm. And I, I really do hope that uh, ladies and girls um, are motivated towards that. Um, in my experience, I've been able to participate in uh, things such as women engineers, um, societies, mm -hmm. IEEE, women engineering. And we do events uh, to promote Girl Scouts and, you know, Wonderful. kind of introduce it to them that, hey, yeah. not only are other career options available, the math, the sciences, the engineering yeah. um, are available to you as well. And That's Pamela, you've you probably learned what the word wrapped means. Yes. I am really wrapped my producer. We are so much out of time. I, I, I would love to spend a whole half hour talking with you. Thank you so very much. It was Thank absolutely you. a pleasure having so you on the nice show. Say hi to your parents. Hope you guys have a great, uh, a great new year. Thank you. Yeah. You're watching, Elle.